feel like it gets really easy to get caught up in your day to day to forget that you know sometimes you have to start to apply that pressure to actually get what you want you know like i think we feel to realize that everything counts and i don't just mean that in like a you know like a general everything matters kind of way i mean like in some ways we are the result of all of our progressive actions you know you are the result of both your action and your inaction you're not just the result of all the good things you've done or the positive or the you know that you're you're the result of the negative too and that's not to say you know focus on the negative it's to say focus on how you cultivate your future focus on how you're going to move forward you know be present enough to make those decisions to move in a way that's befitting of yourself befitting of the value you place on yourself or want to you know it, it if you are cut up in your mind enough to only take value from your actions then make sure your actions correspond to the way you want to feel about yourself in a way i feel like in my experience um where I really saw like major changes in my life. You know, I kind of been off of it recently, but I'm trying to get back to that, the discipline mindset, but it's the concentration. It's the, the every day, the day to day, you know, occupying your time with stuff that's going to take you away from, you know, some of the mental issue. You know, your mind's going to search for problems all the time. And if you don't give it anything but a platform, then that's all that's going to happen. So it's about, giving yourself things to do cultivating yourself through your own action and cultivating yourself through somewhat your own cultivation like i would read when i like i would read i would write i would uh try to look for new music i would do a lot of stuff look into fashion i would try to just occupy my time it's, it was it was more so an unconscious thing but it's kind of the way i got to realize the importance of like isolation but not isolation in an unconscious sense but isolation like consciously isolating you know taking that time for yourself and making it intentional being intentional about yourself and for yourself so everything else in line you know sort of falls in line it gets hard trying to live your life day to day and not reference you know where you want to go or what you have done that's not to say live in the past or live in the future. It's about, you know, cultivating your present so much that you don't have to worry about either. Being so within the, the moment now that, you know, you can see a future kind of unfold right in front of your eyes. It's sort of a beautiful thing to be able to do that, to, you know, be able to sit with yourself and just look at the world and observe it for what it is, but also realize, you know, how your actions add up. Because everything we do does add up. You may not see it in a minute sense or maybe even in a, a general sense, but even to get to the point where I am I am today, it started a long time ago. It started many years ago, like five years ago when I started meditating. Started looking into this stuff and, and started trying to develop myself into a better person. It all starts with how you treat the, the moment now and how you treat every successive day. You know, you could treat each day like a new life. You have a new opportunity every day to to get better, to do better, to be better. But that's not to say, you know, stress um, self-improvement to the point where you're not getting there to the point where you don't understand yourself. But to the point where, you know, you're giving yourself the freedom to just be, but also giving yourself the 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 gentle nudge to be better. I think that's what it's all about. And the law of accumulation is sort of akin to that, you know, in thinking everything counts. Instantiating that every action we take matters. Everything we do brings us closer to what we want in a way. And, you know, I there might be some people in the comments that disagree, and I, I can understand where they come from. You know, not, sometimes things don't work out like that. Sometimes you can put all your all into it. Sometimes you can work day to day, day in, day out, and you may not reap the reward. But that doesn't mean you won't reap anything, you know. I feel like we have a specific way we want to receive things. 
and it doesn't work in accordance with how we are or or maybe our path or maybe I, mean, I don't know if people believe in stuff like that but maybe it just isn't the successful vessel for your ideal goal or something like that and part of that realization comes with being present comes with knowing where you're coming from and how you want to sort of cultivate that the self in a real sense i feel like you know is a reaction reaction to your own actions reaction to your success of day to day and i feel like the more and more you repeat stuff the more you get it engraved into your head the more you become that something you know the more you consciously try to be better the better you become the more you consciously just try to be present the more present you're going to be as a, a general person it's about cultivating your habits and making sure your habits are good and i talked about it in a previous video how you can't replace a bad habit with absence you have to replace it with something good you know you can't just live your life and then say oh i don't like that i do this and just stop doing it altogether it's i don't think it works like that you know it may like work like that for some people but for me it never worked like that i always had to find a new way to express whatever i was you know lacking in that in that bad habit figuring out what part of me was sort of yearning for that whatever it was and understanding how to move forward and what steps i needed to take and, and how they add up because change doesn't i feel like that kind of change that kind of development development of self doesn't happen overnight especially when it comes to our, our problems that have been deep rooted within us since you know we were we were kids that stuff doesn't just go away it's about that day-to-day -day. that that being there for yourself that being there for others and treating yourself like someone is trying to help being there for yourself really meaning it too like appreciating yourself to an extent to the point where you're going to do it for yourself you're gonna realize that you are all that is in a sense that you're all that you can be you know what you see is a reflection of who you are what you do is a reflection of who you are and if you're able to control what you do even in a minute sense thinking that everything counts you control who you are in that sense too in the same way that we influence our actions our actions can influence us in the same way our perception is a reflection of us we're a reflection of the perception did i say that wrong hold on in the same way that our perception is a reflection of us we're a reflection of our perception. It's all about how you sort of look at it. Your perspective isn't going to change overnight. It's about those those choices we make, you know, the conscious effort we tend towards, how much we put in. And I think I made a video about that, too. Uh, what you what you uh, put in is what you get out. And I saw a comment saying, like, oh, that's not true sometimes. Is it? And I understand that that's true. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out like that but like i said it's not necessarily like that i don't think the universe works like that i don't think any type of higher anything works in a sense like you just do a specific thing you get a specific reaction now i don't think it's that clean cut most of the time you know some people get lucky they get they get exactly what they they want in that sense but overall it's sort of the lesson you learn from it how you develop it how you cultivate it and i'm not saying you know some people aren't cut out to do certain things but maybe the way you're approaching it isn't cut out for that that thing to be successful like i don't really know if this applies to my channel or not but i used to kind of view it as a super impersonal thing and i still kind of am keeping that individuality part of it but to a greater extent i feel like i I gained a lot in connecting with you all and understanding how you guys were in it. And it started with 
starting to make personal what was mine and making sure I appreciated it like it was a part of me. And in doing that, it became more personal automatically. It became more of a conversation than a, it would have what felt like a lecture, what felt like just me spouting it. Now it feels like I'm talking. Now it feels like it's a conversation. It feels like genuine appreciation there and back. Because what I'm saying, I, I, feel, I can know it resonates with me because it's coming from a, a, like, it feels like it's coming out of me. And the only reason I feel like I'm able to talk like that, and I don't, I don't think it's that much of a, um, not necessarily a crazy skill to have, but to be able to sort of yap, it, it comes from, you know, digesting so much, you know, reading hours on and meditating, trying to work on myself year in and year out and writing and getting to the point where like, some of the patterns, some of the stuff, it just keeps coming up. And you come to realize that, you know, every action counts. You know, everything matters. You know, if, if, let me try to think of something. There are several, like, I don't even want to say videos, but, um, just everything, everything we do counts. You know, I started this channel like three years ago, maybe a little bit over that now. And I feel like every video just pushes me to make another one. Everything I do just pushes me to make another one. Every in, in making the videos and in, in doing stuff like this, even when I feel like I can't make a video, it just pushes me to, to learn. It pushes me to learn more. It pushes me to get to a point where I can produce more. You know, everything matters. You have to realize how things relate to you and how you can benefit from relating to things, both people and circumstances. You know, sometimes you, you feel like you're inadequate academically or something like that. But that just shows you that you have an opportunity to learn even more, to get to that point. And imagine how fulfilling it would be to just get to that point. You know, I think half of the battle is being satiated with yourself, being satiated with your own success to the point where, you know, you have a little bit of room for more all the time. But you're also happy where you're at. Like, oh, I could eat a little bit more, but I still eat enough. Like I'm full, I still have room though. It's being comfortable with your inadequacies, being comfortable with your half fullness. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I always, I love, I love you and appreciate it at the end of the videos. Um, especially to those of you who watch, man, I really appreciate that. No lie. Um, it's been nice communicating with y'all. I know I'm fumbling on the discord server, but happy Valentine's day. Y'all. Um, day of love, day of romance. Make sure you're being positive out there. You know, there's no reason not to. No, just smile. If you don't have a Valentine, you know, that's fine too. Treat yourself, you know, you deserve love too, even if it's not from somebody, you know, you have to give yourself that love sometimes, but all in all, thank you all so much. Um, appreciate y'all more and more each day. Keep reaching out. I'm about to start this over soon. I promise. I just need a, I just need a block of time. I'm real busy nowadays, but I need a little block of time. Maybe someone to help me to make it, but thank you. <laughs>